If you want to be able to share your links on Facebook to your products, your services, your coaching packages, then you need to know the five often overlooked places on your Facebook profile where you can post your links and not be punished by the Facebook algorithm. Let's face it, if you're trying to market yourself on Facebook and you don't have a ton of money to spend on Facebook ads, then you're probably trying to post links on social media and not getting a lot of results from that. Why is that? It's because Facebook doesn't want you taking people off their platform. So if you're posting links to your website, to your landing pages, to your opt-ins or freebies, they're going to punish you with their algorithm by simply not showing your stuff to your friends, your family, and your fans. So in this video, I am going to give you the five often overlooked places where you can do it without any punishment from the Facebook algorithm so that you get more eyeballs on your products, services, and coaching. So this was the most popular video I ever did on my channel. Back in 2020, I just simply decided to show people how I was generating leads and making sales every single day from my free Facebook profile by posting links in places that that most people hadn't thought of. But you know Facebook and you know Instagram and you know all social media is constantly changing and evolving. So I realized that this video needed a revamp. Some of the things I taught in 2020 have been eliminated, but new things have come onto the scene and today I'm going to show you those places. So first of all, we'll head over to my Facebook stories. Facebook stories are my absolute favorite place to generate leads on the daily. And if you're not familiar with them, then you're gonna want to head over to this video afterwards so that you can learn all about how to start generating leads with Facebook stories. But today, I'm just gonna show you one feature that I love to use when it comes to Facebook stories that's brand new, and that is being able to add a link right into your Facebook story. So if we head over to my phone, I am going to share a link to my YouTube video. So if I open my YouTube, my latest video, how to get more views on YouTube, I will simply click the share button copy the link to my phone, and then I'll head back over to Facebook, and I'll go right on over to my profile. Once I go to my profile, I can click Add Story, and I can pick a photo that I've already saved to my phone. This is a picture of my YouTube screen. Now, where you add the link that you just copied is under the See More button, you're going to click on the links tab and you can simply paste the link right there that you want to add to your story. Once you click add, your viewers are going to see it at the bottom of the story saying that they can swipe up for more info. So you can use a sticker that says swipe up if you want to. Um, or you can simply write text that says swipe up to watch the latest video. And, oh, not the lastest. All right, and I can put that there, share to story, and now there is a clickable link right in my Facebook stories. The second place that's kind of new and is getting a lot of attention right now is your Facebook Reels. Facebook Reels aren't as popular as TikToks or Instagram Reels, but they could become more popular over time and Facebook is pushing them even more than the stories right now. You might notice that in your feed, you're actually seeing other people's reels pop up in your feed because it is something that Facebook wants to push. So if that's the case, you wanna be an early adopter and use those reels to your advantage. So let's head over to my Facebook reels so I can show you this secret place to add your link. 
So the first thing we do is we click on Facebook and you go to your profile and you'll see the option to select Reels. You can select a Reel that you've already created, click on that Reel, and while it doesn't allow you for a swipe up for the Reel, you can actually click the first comment and you can drop your freebie, your link, whatever it is you wanna direct people to. So I could say, check out my attraction marketing ebook here. And then I can simply type the link, or if I have it copied to my phone, I can post it right there. And you can see that that link will be posted in your first comment of your reel and it is clickable. So if your reel ends up getting a lot of traction and people go to comment, they're also going to see your link right there in the first comment and they may click on it and check out your stuff. Now, the next three places are right on your public Facebook profile. So let's head over to my profile and check those out. So here we are on my personal profile and you can see that the cover photo is large and prominent on the screen. And this is a place where I think a lot of people overlook the opportunity to share their links. There's a couple different ways that you can do this. For one, if you have a simple and easy to remember link like I do, marketingmadefun.com, I have simply added it to the image here so people that are curious may go over and check that link out. Now, this one isn't clickable, I understand that, but it is something that would be easy for them to type in to the browser if they are looking at Facebook on their computer. Now, most people are looking at Facebook on mobile, so the option that you can use that is clickable is by going to click on the cover photo and you have the option to provide a description next to your cover photo. You'll see an edit button right here so you can edit this description, but this is an area where you can tell people what you do, how you help them, and you can actually add in a clickable link. So you're just gonna copy and paste the URL to wherever you want to send your ideal clients and customers online. So in my case, I wanna send them over to my YouTube channel or over to my website to grab my attraction marketing ebook. Now, Facebook's not gonna penalize you for this because this is your cover photo. This is always available on your profile. It's not a post that they're going to be able to hide. And if you wanna instruct people to look at this description area, you could even add an image to your graphic that says, click here for more info on how to access my best content. Click here for my free attraction marketing ebook. Click here to check out all my videos on YouTube. You can put anything you want on this graphic and you're not gonna be penalized by the Facebook algorithm and then you can send people right over to your links that you want them to go to. Now, another area I see people overlook all the time is their intro section. This is actually your bio and you can click this edit bio button right here and you can type in anything you want on Facebook. Now, one suggestion that I would make to you is that you maybe use a bit.ly link if you have a longer link. As you can see, you have a limited number of characters and you don't wanna just leave a link there or people don't know why they should click on it. But if you tell them why they wanna click on it, these are my marketing and training videos for online business owners. And they can clearly see that this is my YouTube channel. So if you're going to use a bit.ly link, make sure you have a little description on why somebody would wanna click on that link. But you're able to edit this and this becomes a clickable link again right on your profile. As you're meeting and networking and connecting with people on Facebook, they're gonna come over, they're gonna be curious, they're gonna check you out, they're gonna likely look at this intro, this is gonna be very prominent on your profile, they're going to look at your cover photo, and if you're telling them how they can continue to connect with you, they're going to take the action and click the links. The last place I'm going to tell you about today 
is also in this intro section and this is where you can share links to your other social media platforms. So maybe you're not that active on Facebook, but you are very active creating amazing content over on Instagram or Pinterest or YouTube, or you have a Facebook group that you want people to join and you need to tell them how to get there. Well, you can go to the edit details right here and you can decide to change your websites and your social links. So you can see that there is no social link for YouTube. So I simply added my YouTube channel link into the website section and I added the direct link to my Facebook group into the website section as well. Then I also connected directly my Instagram profile and my Pinterest profile. And once you save this, every single one of these links are clickable. As I said, people are curious. They're going to come over and click your links. I hope these five sections helped you out. And if you want more engagement on your profile so people are actually seeing your links and clicking on it, then you're gonna wanna head next to this video for how to get more engagement on your Facebook profile in 2022. I'll see you in the next video.